What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 63. We start today's off with a fish for May. As you can see, five games to go in the Premier League. West Ham at home and then four away days. Newcastle at St James's, Spurs in North London at Leeds at Ellen Road. Now final game. Well, it could be massive. Manchester United away at Old Trafford. And heading into May as well, our final scouting update of the year and an academy update as well. As we know, no wins in our last three games. On the back of a defeat to Leicester, just two points picked up from a possible nine in the Premier League. And I mentioned it, man. They don't want us in the, in the Champions League. They don't want Newport County in the Champions League. No, they don't want a Welsh team in the Champions League group stages. It just feels as though right towards the end. I talk about it a lot when, like, the AI go from ultimate to super ultimate. And we have Brighton at home and Leicester away. And based on our form this season, those should have been bankers. Instead, couldn't win either of them. One point picked up from both of those games. And after our good fight back draw against Chelsea, no wins in our last three. Our first game today, West Ham at home. Our final game in South Wales all season long. I was thinking, okay, all right. If I don't win this, it's all over. Because five games to go. We're three points beyond Manchester City. So it's certainly not over yet. But you got to remember, those teams have got far more depth, far more quality, and they'll be favourites and, you know, clear favourites in the majority of their games. We've got four away days to end the season, including Manchester United, Spurs, Leeds, and the Magpies as well. So, yeah, first game, Rodney Parade needed to win this one against West Ham and get back to winning ways, and we would get the opening goal as well. A couple of early chances, but it was Tony Matthews getting his first goal of the season. And real briefly on Matthews as well, you've seen this season and also last year as well, Norrington Davis has basically become our starting left back now and Tony ordinarily plays you know when Norrington Davis isn't in great form or needs a breather and the reason why is because Matthews just isn't growing and despite still being a teenager that's been present in our starting 11 ever since the very first season and never really put a foot wrong he's never had a potential increase and I've talked about it before that's when dynamic potential doesn't work. Sometimes it does work and players will get a potential increase, but sometimes it goes the other way and players just won't grow. Tony Matthews, I don't think we need to get him to 80 overall. He's a teenager, 75 overall, but I don't even think we'll get him to 80. He grows like one rating a season now, max. So it's going to be so hard to get him to a very good overall in this Newport County and Wales team. So, yeah, 1 0 was the final score. Um, we had a whole, sorry, 2 0 was the final score. Sorry, Dan Jones got our second goal. We had a whole host of chances. And I couldn't score any more than the second. And because of how tired it is as well, it could well come down to goal difference. So it's vital we pick up more clean sheets and get a few more goals on the board as well. But we'll take the 2-0 victory back to winning ways. And as you can see, we've now cut the gap on Manchester City to one. We have a game on Aston Villa as well. We're five points clear of Aston Villa and have the game in hand as well. So if we win that, they'll need to win their remaining three. And we'll have to lose our remaining three. Otherwise, we'll at least guarantee fifth place. So it does feel as though as we come towards the end of the season on the back of our final home game of the campaign there, Europa League is looking almost definitely possible to happen. Now, Champions League is the one we want. But it is good to know with four games to go, no matter what, we should have European football of some sort at Rodney Parade next season. And at the start of the season, had you offered me Europa Conference League, let alone Europa League, I certainly would have taken it. But I'm still sitting there thinking four games to go. We've been in the top four for a large duration of the season. If we don't make it now, I'll be gutted. So one point behind Man City, destiny is in their hands. They win all their remaining four games. There's nothing we can do. But we can't have that mentality. we just got to do our jobs. So following game, Newcastle United away, St. James's Park, and we fell behind early. Yeah, Matthews hit the bar, almost his second goal in two this season off the woodwork, but the Magpies would take the lead against the runner play. Get myself in attack mode though, looking for that level and 20 minutes in. Oh god, yes. Gavin Humphreys coming up big. The captain puts us back on level terms. We know it's very likely now he's going to turn 90 before 20 years old. And I just keep on thinking, how much better can this guy get? I mean, I have never had a 99 rated play in any save I've done. Gavin Humphreys could become the first player to hit 90 before 20. And I mean, you never know, right? 99 overall, can you imagine? It is a possibility. It's a, it's a, very, it's a very minor one, but it's a possibility regardless. And 
once we found a leveler in this game, I just knew that draws are effectively defeats. I've never liked that saying. I've talked about it before. I've never been a fan of the draws are basically defeats kind of uh, mentality because I always think every point can prove to be valuable. I mean, look at Man City right now. They're only one point ahead of us. So, you know, that draw they might have got midway through the season is the reason why they're in fourth and we're in fifth. But at the moment, it's definitely going to feel that way. Four games to go. We cannot afford to slip up if we're going to catch Guardi on the side. So the man who's so good, they named him twice. Lloyd Lloyd gives us the lead for the first time in the game. And then 63 minutes in here, the Magpie's going very close to finding a leveler in a real thriller in the Northeast. And I thought I might need a third goal with 10 minutes to go. Still up by a single one. Not defending very well this season. Lloyd, who scored our second down the right, rolls it through to Mark Bowne. Gareth Bale's region. It's a path for Humphreys. Quick little offload. And there is the vet, Ben Davis to make it free and wrap up the points. And honestly, man, it's been one of the one of the great side stories of this save as Davis wraps up the points in a 3-1 victory. I mean, Ben Davis now. dropping down to play League One with Newport County. It's absolute class, but I told you when he came here, he wasn't here for the paycheck. He was here for the project. He's got Newport County from League One to the Premier League. Our three games to go. It's confirmed now. Aston Villa slipped up. So with three games to go, it is over. They are eight points behind. They can no longer math make, mathematically catch us. Fifth place is the very lowest we can finish. But of course, you know we want that top four. We're still one point behind Guardiola's side. Three games to go. We need someone to do us a massive, massive favour and take points off Pep's side. Otherwise, it is going to be fifth. Which again, I would have taken at the start of the season. Absolutely no doubt about it. But I don't know, man. It's like when you've got your heart set on something. Do you know what I mean? It's like nothing else is really going to satisfy the craving. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like in dating. Like you know what I mean? When you're on a few dating apps, you're talking to a few different people, but there's there's just a one. Do you know what I mean? There's just a one you really, really want. And yeah, the others are nice. Don't get me wrong, but you really want that one. That's how I feel about this season now. Champions League has become the one I really, really want. So our following game, Spurs away. Our first of the final three away days in the Premier League in North London. Heading to this game, Spurs are having a great season right now in the top 10, but way off the pace for a Champions League place where of course they'd want to be. They took lead early through Deli Alley and really in the early stage it was all Spurs and Alley was running the show for the middle of the park but 27 minutes in I talk about it I never complain when these things happen because you know luck will balance itself out but at first I was like how on earth did Webb not save that? But I looked at it on the replay and it shows you here massive massive deflection takes it past Webb and Deli Alley capitalises on a huge helping hand there as Spurs go tune it up. One of those things, but you can't complain about it. You know luck will balance itself out. You know you'll get a good fortune yourself at some point. And a few minutes later, we'd find a goal to get back in the game. Gareth Bale's regen, scoring in North London, makes it to one great assist by Ravi Matondo as well. That was definitely worth showing again there. Ravi, as we know, is the top scorer in the league. But one thing I haven't talked about much is he's also leading the way in the race to the assist title. Remember last season, he won both the Golden Boot and the assist title in the championship. It seems like Matondo's going to do that again. Lovely back heel into bound. It's 2-1. And from that moment, I was like, okay. We've battled back from two goals down before. Very recently, even in the last episode against Chelsea, we can do it again. Humphreys denied, still 2-1. We kept our foot on the gas pedal, looking for a goal to get back on level turns. But one thing we've had recently that's really, really messed us up is injuries. Rashesha going down, Rodden going down, Cooper going down. And then in the second half, after we saw Bound go down... This is the biggest of them all. No! Gavin Humphreys goes down. He took a very long time to get back to his feet. He's a little lad. He's not got much strength on him. But to be fair, he did soldier on for a while in this game before I realised I had to take him off. But we were still down by a goal. We lost our captain, lost our leader, lost our talisman. I continue to stay in attack mode, looking for that leveller. That shot going just wide, still 2-1 with... 13 minutes to go, one of our final chances. Aaron Lewis down the right-hand side. Plays a 1-2 of Ravi Matondo. Gets in behind the back line. And it's saved at the near post. And Spurs would scramble it away. Colwell tries to keep the chance alive. Ken Campbell dribbles out. Back to Lewis down the right. Hanko to be once again. Cross the back stick. Cleared. And Spurs would survive. I pushed. I pressed. I did everything I could in this game. But I got one back, but I couldn't find a second and a level. A final score, Deli Ali's brace sinks the ladder from South Wales. 2-1 the final score. Absolutely gutted. Two wins in six. 
And I think that now might do it. We are three points behind Manchester United, who dropped to fourth, and four behind Manchester City. We've got a better goal difference on both, but no game in hand. Put it simply, if we're going to make the top four now, we need slip-ups from both Manchester clubs. But that will end this for the Common Country, guys. Big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, please drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the final episode of Season 5 with Newport County as we play our final two games where Champions League football is still a possibility very soon.